Hey everyone, welcome back to the Gaming Drive. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while of Minecraft or anything. I've just been extremely busy, especially because I just came back from Hershey Park. But besides that, guess what? Memorial Day weekend. I'm so psyched, and I bet you guys are to have that Monday off. And also, I hope you enjoy your Memorial Day wherever you're going. If you're going on a trip, staying home. I hope you pwn those Memorial Day noobs or whatever you do during your week. So, uh, let's get into the gameplay. This is a gameplay of TDM on Bakara. I have the M4A1 with a red dot sight. I have the MP9 with extended magazines. I also have slide of hand, quick draw, and steady aim with the kick proficiency. I've got C4s and flashbangs. So... I think it's pretty good class setup, it's the normal class setup I use on every fucking class, but it does work in this case. And also, I wanted to mention that these guys, I mean the score doesn't show it, but the people are killing, I mean it was just so easy to get the kills. Maybe it was just because I was rushing the game right, or it was just something, something was just going right. It's like the Call of Duty gods were in my favor today. Anyway, so I really wanted to talk about Black Ops 2, and I'm sure you guys are as psyched as I am for this game, especially because it takes place in the future, so this could make or break the game. The reason why it could make it, it could make it really interesting and really innovative, therefore making it something new, and people would really like to buy the game, and it would be very fun. Break, because if they go too haywire on the future crap, especially because the um, multiplayer is only in the future, the problem now is going to be that they could go overboard and not make it realistic, and then that would take away the Call of Duty sense. It would turn it into something like Crisis. And I'm sure you've heard this before, but I'm just telling you now, because the thing is, maybe you're watching this because while wow, Black Ops is over here. Come on, kid! I gotta stop talking just for a sec. Come on, that was just sad. I reload! He's shooting at me. Come on, man. That was pitiful. And there's two of my teammates in there. That's disgusting. Well... However, this could be a very good game, and I'm very excited for it because I know it's going to be a good game. And also, I'm really, really, really psyched for zombies. I love zombies now. I haven't posted any gameplay. Let me know if you want me to post some because I would be happy to do that. Especially because I got some funny-ass freak-out reactions that I put down, and it's just for stupid reasons. So, um, definitely let me know in the comments below if you'd like some zombies from me. And I would always do them live because I just love doing gameplays live. There's so much fun. That's kind of why you do YouTube, because it's a lot of fun, but then some people get into money. Well, I hope the community doesn't fall apart in the near future, because it seems to be going strong right now. However, let's talk about Black Ops 2. Maybe you guys have seen a screenshot of the game. Well, actually, it's not from Treyarch. It's from some guy who just posted it. Of It's an MP7 with the killstreak award as a D-pad with four killstreaks, and it's just an MP7 with a guy, um, not running, but just standing in midair. Well, not midair, gosh, what? Just in mid-stroke of doing something. Now, the reason why some people are saying this is fake, it's because it's not from Treyarch, you know, I mean, I mean, all images, there's tons of images blowing around of Call of Duty, but none of them are being considered legitimate. But this one could be. The reason is because, one, they use the exact same font as it does in the trailer. Two, the MP7 is, it's just like the, it, could be a, you know, a futuristic one, because it had some different attachments to it, so it could be that, uh, you know, the new one. Also, the reason why people think it's legitimate is because if you look at the D-pad with all the killstreaks on it, um, I don't know what any of the killstreaks are, they have not been verified, let alone any of us know what they really stand for, but if you look on just the, uh, the interview with, I forgot his name, shit, I should know this, but I forgot his name, the person they were interviewing. Or, um, zombies. He was talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and what they were doing, and that is disgusting. Holy crap! That is, that's just not real. That doesn't happen ever. ever. <laughs> that was just so bad. However, yes, the, it could be real. It could be fake. And also, the kill streaks they use in the interview. They're the exact same because they have like a 3D wireframe modeling, and then they have just that one little D pad there that has the exact same kill streaks as that, uh, that screenshot. So, this could be legitimate, we don't know yet, but it's just, it's more than a coincidence. It's either that or this guy is a complete beast with Photoshop. <laughs> okay, but anyway, this, it looks, it looks real. I really hope it's real because one, I want that MP7 back too. 
uh, those kill streaks. If you could have four kill streaks, that would be really, really cool. Because we've never seen that before. I mean, you can earn four. Well, not you can't earn four, but you can obtain four. But if you can select four, so can you imagine? Well, actually, if they put the nuke back in the game, that would be really OP. So you would have this would be. I'll tell you the class up right now. You'd have predator missile. Um, then you'd have um, a Harrier airstrike, chopper gunner, and then you would have nuke. End of story. That would be the class setup that every freaking person uses. So it would just basically be a, um, a nuke on steroids. However, as long as they don't put the nuke back in, I think it'll be fine. But, you know, they could have like a combination of the nuke or something. Like the nuke and the Moab, and you can choose or something. I mean, they're both, they're good for different things. I mean, say if your team is really losing, you can put on that nuke, and you could just be like, Yeah, boy, I'm ended the game, I win, son. And this is the end of the game. I hope you enjoyed this commentary, and I didn't even realize how fast I went by, because I sure as hell had a lot of fun doing this. However, thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you had a good day, and I can't not wait for Memorial Day weekend, and I know you can't either. So, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and have a nice day. Bye.